10-year-old Garrett Doherty knows exactly what's in his food. This one's peanut butter. It has peanuts in it. This one is sunflower seeds, but it's cooked in peanut oil, so I can't have it. He has to be cautious because he has a peanut allergy, the leading cause of severe reactions and deaths due to food allergies in the United States. You know, he is anaphylactic, so if he eats or comes into contact with a peanut, he can go into anaphylactic shock, which is basically where his body shuts down and his airways close up. While Garrett has to avoid peanuts the rest of his life, a new study published online Monday in the New England Journal of Medicine found you can prevent other children from developing this allergy. This is the first time we've really shown that we can actually modify the development uh, of a food allergy. Doctors found that exposing at-risk infants to peanuts before their first birthday lowered the risk of developing a peanut allergy by as much as 81%. A study of 600 children in England tested early exposure to peanut products by either avoiding or consuming them. By age five, far fewer of the peanut eaters had developed allergies. But Dr. Rebecca Gruchala, an allergy specialist, says it's critical for parents to get children's skin tested and to work with a physician instead of trying it themselves. It could be potentially dangerous if you had a child with egg allergy or uh, eczema or, uh, you know, from, you know, mom or dad allergic and gave peanut early on, it could be dangerous. But for children who undergo the proper testing and introduction, life without peanut allergy could become Taking reality. Jill Craig, Associated seconds. Press.